Hello guys, and welcome to the first part of my two-part commentary on the Kinect and its mandatory uh, inclusion with the Xbox One. I am still planning to do another commentary discussing the Xbox One and its various features in a dual commentary with modded, modded talent, but our schedules have not lined up yet, so I am doing a sub-commentary on the, on the Kinect because there's just so much to cover. The first part of the commentary is going to discuss the features of the Xbox One Kinect and how it differs from the Xbox 360 model, and the second part is going to weigh the pros and cons of the mandatory inclusion of the Kinect and whether or not I think it's a good idea. So getting started with the commentary, the gameplay in the background is a Nasher's only domination event which happened a while ago in Judgment, and it will be abridged slightly so that it fits within the time parameters of this commentary. So a lot of the feedback I've heard from people is just people griping about its inclusion. The opinions seem to range from the most expensive on button of all time to I think it's uh, quietly monitoring me, waiting for me to go to sleep, and then it will order my toaster to kill me. So there's basically a lot of negativity around the, the in mandatory inclusion of the Kinect because people just don't think that it's going to uh, improve their gaming that much. I think a lot of this comes from a mediocre experience with the 360 Kinect right now. And so first thing I think we should do is just figure out how this Kinect is different. And the fact is it is not the 360 Kinect. It apparently, from I've done quite a bit of reading, and of course this is relying on articles from Game Informer, the Xbox website itself, and some other uh, uh, people online. The um, uh, Xbox One Kinect has vastly improved voice recognition. So it knows what your voice, which voice goes with which profile. So that your little brother, or in this case my wife, couldn't come up behind you, suddenly say, throw grenades in an inopportune moment and troll you that way. So, and, and I also assume that this voice recognition will help whenever you're playing on the split screen if, if the game requires connect voice inputs that would allow the game to properly assign which voice input goes with which player. So that could be cool. Of course, the, the Kinect also allows you to Skype with other players on Xbox Live, and so I'm sh obviously this could really be an improvement for um, live streaming and for live commentaries and dual comms where you can actually see a little picture of the other guy and hear his voice uh, on your Xbox DVR. The field of view is 60% wider and the depth perception is 250% better so basically it'll be able to sense people from a wider range and it will be able to tell where they are in the room much better. There's be going to be no more issues with small or poorly lit rooms according to the articles I've read and it can also see in the dark. Okay, honestly, that's a little bit creepy. The ex I mean, what if your Xbox is sort of a little creepy perv box and, you know, it might really cut down on what you decide to do on your living room couch. All right, so um, it's going to have much better joint tracking down to finger position. So I guess if there's a game mechanic which requires you to eat with chopsticks, this Kinect will be able to sense that and, and give you that input. So it can also read your facial expressions. That's one of those things that it could work well in a game, or it could lead to some really annoying mini games where you have to smile for an hour and you feel like you're stuck in some bad wedding photo party. And it can also sense your heart rate, which goes, I think, in the creepy column. And presumably it can use the same, because it can sense if your eyes are open or closed or where you're looking, etc. It can use the same look away, pause of media, like uh, various smartphones are now advertising to where if you get up to go get your popcorn or your phone rings and you leave the, the, the couch suddenly, your media is never wasted and you don't miss a single millisecond, which is very important for so many of us because I know getting up and pushing that A button on your controller to pause the video is a real killer. Another thing which has been toted as a great thing for the new Kinect is that it allows for more inputs for your game besides just voice commands and obviously the, the normal motion commands. I, I read an article where they were all excited about what's called the third stick, which is basically the orientation of your torso. So for example, in a game where you were to dodge something or lean suddenly to one, one side with your torso, I do that all the time whenever I'm playing games, I just can't help but reacting to what's happening. And like, if my car is flying off the road one way, I'll be leaning the other way. Or, yes, just trying to overcompensate with my body, and like that's actually an effect what's on my screen. But with the Kinect, it could. So, um, honestly, I'll have to see how that works before I figure out whether or not I'm excited about it. The plus, obviously the best thing it could do is it could possibly create 
more inputs for your game to where you can get more nuanced control of your character. The worst thing you do, it could be a real pain where you have to, you have to lean over 45 degrees to make get any real input at all, and you get a crink in your back from playing your Xbox. Here's another thing which I'm thinking is going to be in there, which I cannot tell for sure, but with the fact that it has improved voice recognition and it can recognize all these commands, I am really betting I didn't find any uh, documentation to confirm this one way or another, but I think that the Xbox will be able to you'll be able to read it, it, uh, a message to another Xbox player and have it come out as text. So instead of having to send those annoying voice messages that people basically have to pause their entire game to listen to, you can send you could have the convenience of speaking your message into your Xbox and then having it come as text on their screen. So that would be a cool feature if it's implemented. I think it is not positive. So that's actually pretty much a good rundown of the exact features of the Kinect and, and all it'll do. Um, so be sure to tune in for my next episode of this commentary where I go head to head with myself in a grueling battle of wits to decide whether it is a good thing that the Kinect is a mandatory inclusion or whether, whether or not it is a bad thing the Kinect is a mandatory inclusion. So do not miss me crushing myself in an epic battle of intellectual titans. Um, yeah. I'm printing this two of me, and then we're gonna fight. See you later.